back we are with round C and now I change the right color and not this little fluffy there. Uh, I'm going to grab the gray and it here, there, one, two, pull the gray, the red a little bit, pull it not too much, find your first corner stitch here, take that gray with you for your first single crochet in the corner, drop it and leave it, single crochet, uh, chain, and a single crochet. I mix it up all the time. I don't know why. What am I doing here? I didn't take all the... Oh, I'm going in the other one already. Where am I? Oh, no. No, I see what I did. I didn't take the whole stitch. Try it again. Take all the yarn there. Yeah, now I'm through the back loop fully. I dropped some threads of my yarn. Those little thingies, they... Sometimes are weird. Okay, what's the pattern? It is two single crochets. Oh, these are two single crochets. Yes, it's two single crochets. One. And two. And then double crochet. Single crochet. And double crochet. And then three singles. Oh, yeah, did it? Yeah, three singles. Yeah, one, two, three. Double single, double. Singles one, two, three, double single, double, three, two, one. Double single double. Now we don't have to find that little stitch Ooh. because we end with two singles and a corner. That's handy. Here's the corner chain, and then the same back loop. Your honor, there, turn your work, rotate your work. It's not turn, it's rotate two singles. And then double single double. Don't know what I did there. There. Three singles.
as you see I don't work often with acrylic because I go often in my yarn and not under it and I leave little fluffies hanging out there and here that's why I love my uh, cotton better it's just preference and if you are a sloppy crocheter like me or not and I'm a sloppy crocheter I know Look, and it starts to form already, isn't it nice? It's a nice little pattern, isn't it? Simple, nice, fun, easy, easy. More easy than I expected. You know, this is, I don't make many borders because I'm lazy. This is a little bit tight. And, um, but it's remarkable easy as long as you keep counting and keep alternating that colors when you set up those pages, see? Here, he already a few threads. We will do that when we work on the back. But don't get distracted. Oh, don't get distracted. Just work. Work. Work it, baby. Or should I put some music on? But well, then I start to hum and sing. And then for sure you all will be gone in a second. Maybe you're already gone and I'm here all by myself. All by myself. Oh, I want to be all by myself. And that was a little bit of a teaser if I start to sing. <laughs> Though when I do karaoke, I have a lot of fun. And I don't care. Life is too short to be ashamed of silly things. As you see, during my uh, year of designings, my nails get shorter and shorter because I like to be fast on the keyboard. On the keyboard of my computer, eh? I was able to play the piano, but after Carpal Tunnel, that was too much stress on my hands. I'm happy I can crochet, really am, because that doesn't... I see that's a sloppy of me. I lost a thread here. I, I just used one string of my yarn and now I have to fiddle around to get it and make it a little bit nicer. But see, that is not how a good crocheter should crochet. But I don't claim I'm a good crocheter. Mediocre. I understand a lot. And I, I, no, no, I don't understand a lot. I, I, find my own way of doing things you know there are already borders made and i try to follow other patterns of borders but i think i think there is one where you first do uh, a row of uh, slip stitches and that sounds very nice but it's not very practical if you first have to do around the slip stitches and double crochet maybe the border gets nicer but and then other do it with another way and I do it like this and it works for me I do my corners maybe not in a standard way some use uh, two single crochets two chain I just use one and I use those back loops um, sometimes it stretches a little bit but gives it a, a little bit of a gap but it's never too massive and never too um, there's a dog here in my work how can we be Rex silly dog do care in my work. <laughs> if I gift a pattern, I gift a blanket away, I always wash it because it's dog hairs in it and my hands are touching it. Not that they, my hands are that dirty, but well, you know, it's handwork. So oh there. My hands are not dirty, are they? No. <laughs> I didn't even check. Didn't even moisturize them so you can see all the wrinkles. <laughs> Should moisturize them more. My hands are my precious. My precious hand. My hands are 
I'm not making mistakes. Let me check now. Because, oh, that's the disadvantage of working in the round. When you made a mistake here, you have to rip out all the round and have to do it again. And as you see, this round is already like 12 minutes. So, uh, yeah, that's shameful. Shame of the work. Zonde, zonde van al dat werk. But sometimes you have to rip things and to get it right. You have to rip a little bit from time to time. Ah, come up. A little bit faster. I'm not getting into the mood to go fast today. But that is because I'm sitting in a different chair. My I krijg een stijve kont. Weet het nou? Ik you alsof you you like you sit on a on a on a wooden chair and your ass is getting a little bit numb and should walk around. I will make my tea after this round finally. Because I'm sitting down now as from the moment we started. And that was some time ago. I don't know what time it was. Okay. There. There you are again. Oh, keep your hands under the camera. That would be very nice if people can see it. Just not only hear you. I hope my first take wasn't too dark. I'll see it there. There, 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 there. Oh, it's already lunchtime. I have lunch first. See, then I do something. Yeah. Does my stomach already grumbling? Now that last stitch is a little bit more difficult to find. A single crochet there, the back loop, because the back loop is a little bit hidden. It is this one, look. See? This one. Because it's pulled to the front through the other thread there. See? Now you gotta make it longer. Find your double stitch. Find your little V there and pull it backwards. And we've done round six. Six already. Okay, I'm going to make a tea and lunch. Don't worry about the, the, the tightness of the border. It's because you have a hook size smaller. And when you block it, and block it, I mean steam it or wet it or wash it and dry it on pingles and needles. I don't know what you do. I just pull it a little bit when I iron it. Of course, I can't iron acrylic cotton I can do. See you in the start to look nice. Yay. Okay, I hope to see you uh, when I had my tea and lunch for round number seven. Yay.